The following clip is presented to you by The Extreme Life of Matt Hardy. Available every Friday wherever you get your podcasts and at ExtremeHardy.com. The Miz pinned Dean Ambrose to retain the IC title in 11 minutes and 13 seconds. But the question is, did... I can't even say Dean Ambrose now. Did Moxley bleed? Did he bleed? <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> yes, actually, he did bleed. <laughs> His mouth was busted open. And right. Dave Meltzer notes, Ambrose's mouth was busted open during the match, making three straight matches with hard way blood. Uh, is it overkill, Matt? Because that's a big, big discussion point in wrestling right now. It was a huge point of discourse on Twitter this past week that John Moxley has damaged his reputation in equity because of how much he bleeds. Is, is that Matt fact or Matt fiction? Uh, I, I do think there's a thing. Th there's an issue for saying there's too much bleeding on a show. I think I think bleeding and blood is best when it's used in the correct spaces and not every single week. It doesn't need to be done too often because that'll kind of kill it. That hurts its effect as well. When blood happens in certain scenarios, it means so much more. But is that an indictment on him or is that more on just the general storytelling of what is allowed in a promotion? That, 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 that's my just that's my general opinion okay. of blood in pro wrestling generally. And apparently with John, he's doing this thing as far as making it a, a real fight. It's a fight club with the, you know, B, B, uh, BCC. So that, that's his thing. He's in there. There's violence and he bleeds a lot. And that's that's his preference. And that's what he wants to do, I guess. For me, I, I wouldn't want to do that every mm -hmm. single week because I, I think, once again, that kind of minimizes the uh, value of, of bleeding. I just want to put it fully out there in context for all the FIs who will listen to that and everything Matt just said. Matt is not calling out John Moxley for bleeding too much. No headlines on that, please. Uh, this is Matt simply stating his personal preference is that blood can be a little too much at times and not safe for right opportunities. Do I have that correct? Yeah, that's correct. I just think, uh, you know, I, I think blood is one of the, the few things in pro wrestling that shouldn't be overdone. I feel mm -hmm. like it it means so much more when it is done in specific scenarios and it's a little bit of a, a sparse special thing. Sure. That, that's Plus. it. You know, if someone wants to go out there and they want to gig every single week, go nuts. If someone wants to go out there and have a death match every single week, go nuts. If someone wants to go out there and have a classic chain wrestling match every week go nuts i don't care what what you do that that's that's your mm -hmm. that's your stance that's your choice and, and if there's people that enjoy that then great it is what it is but i'm just talking about my personal preferences mm -hmm. on all these issues plus i know you're a big john moxley fan as is huge you, you've i think john john busts his ass I, th I think john is the heart and soul of aw at this point still there you go i think he's been a consistent when it was needed in aw he was the first guy that really like jumped per se from WWE to AEW and he was he had already been a big star at WWE and just he he's really been like a flag bearer for AEW in so many ways. I'm a huge John Moxley fan.